Wait, that's possible? Can spin someone out in this game? Well, shit. Hey, Jots, welcome back. Day 28 of the Need for Speed Marathon. Today, Pro Street PSP is on the table. Driving the campaign series will give you access to the top cars and top opponents. Increase your driver rating to get the most out of your driver intuition. The more challenging the race, the faster your rating will increase. Take the extra challenge to maximize your skill. We can drive a persona that suits the way you want to drive. Weekend Warrior will train you in the skills you need to succeed. Graduate to Adrenaline Junkie when you're ready for a challenge. Or to Speed King to maximize your rewards. Yes. Waste all of our money on the first car. I wonder if the opponents are stronger if you play on Speed King though. Or if it's just assists. Oh yeah, I remember that racing line actually gives you more grip. <laughs> so it is completely and utterly broken. Oh yeah, drafting is also a thing. I mean, it will also tell you when you need to uh, break, but it will guide you around the corner. It's so it's so weird. Like I think it's called ah fuck, some kind of some kind of skill. It's just really overpowered that it gives you basically the carbon ability about drafting around the corner. That's that's what it does. Ah, uh, true, I just damaged my, my wheel. Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> I think my right wheel is about to fall off, holy shit. It's a lot easier to drive to the right right now. <laughs> that's basically how it works. Let's get those 5 Gs of force. Man, the minimap looks so distorted. <laughs> so basically you want to hit the checkpoints with the bonus speed. By the way, if you do damage your car, you get less cash, which is going to be somewhat relevant. Ah, driver intuition. That is what the what the, uh, the skill is called. Shouldn't use it in a straight line. I need it to go around the corner. The thing is we need a higher player level, so we get this ability active for longer. Oh man. It's such a weird mechanic. You need to get used to it. Also, I don't really understand when drafting is working and when it isn't. So that actually, that actually works re really well. You just wanna slam the handbrake for a little bit of extra grip. If you put your car into that speed lane with the handbrake, you actually stay in there and you can be yeah, a lot quicker. Like, it always pulls you in too. You actually get bonus money for not having any damage. So, I'm gonna try, for, I'm gonna try that first some more. As long as the golf is working, we're gonna use it. I forgot if you get the cars into your garage or if you have to buy them. Okay, you do have to buy the cars. I actually need to be careful not to damage my car. It makes such a huge difference. Let's see. Yeah, repair bill 300. Ah, true, you get knocked out for every for every checkpoint. It's, a, it's an interesting event type. And it's a lot better, like checkpoint or timing knockout is way better in my opinion. <laughs> it's a super quick event too. This reminds me of like Need for Speed No Limits, right? Like this this was like a Need for Speed No Limits race right there. 30 seconds and it's over. I need to get more clean races. Gives me more money. Not only don't we repair, we also get a clean bonus. Tune class only. Oh, that does unlock a new card though. Oh shit. Oh man. Okay, that was a lot better just without those idiots in my way. It's so funny, like we already hit all of the gates and now the game still wants you to hit the finish line. It's completely pointless. Like you're not even getting another speed trap at the end there. It's just, and now drive to the finish line. Like the event is already over. <laughs> oh, I actually got the release for free. Nice. Oh, are we actually done? Complete, really? I can use a car, but sadly I can't upgrade it here. Oh yeah, you have to do it here. The thing is, you can immediately max out the car, which is actually very nice. <laughs> I can only change the rims. The customization is extremely limited. Okay, this is a lot faster now. Top speed acceleration got massively boosted. Okay, the car is extremely grippy now. Abusing game physics? My favorite thing to do. Failed! Fantastic. Do you want a Pro Street Remaster or Pro Street 2? Pro Street 2, easy. Okay, that was better. Okay, I'm sorry Golf, but you're getting retired. Wait, how do I change my car? Oh, that might be very expensive. <laughs> yeah, already running out of money. Uh, this game actually gets really hard late game, that is correct. <laughs> Give me the bonus time. Since I didn't upgrade this car, it needs all the help it can get. And let's see how much longer we can use this car. 
typical muscle car. Feels like it feels like carbon all over over again. Like no grip, but hey, we got some speed. I wonder if I should just upgrade the car or save my money. The Zonda. Okay, we don't have the Camaro concept. I might need to buy some upgrades. Tuna car. There we go. Mazda is a lot more reliable. Funny thing about Slipstream, it only works when you're really, really close. <laughs> Quite a bit different from the PC version. Gotta say though, with the graphics here, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Need for Speed 3. Wait, that's possible? You can't spin someone out in this game? Well, shit. Okay, now that I know that my opponents are dickheads, I might, I might set some safe states. So honestly, I'm probably gonna buy the upgrades now. Okay, now it's maxed out. The thing is, you have to do win certain events in certain cars, and then you unlock new cars. Which you once again need for other events that will unlock other cars. Oh, that's a lot of wheel spin. <laughs> it's definitely a lot faster now. But honestly, I had the game worse in memory. This is actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, the Nossa actually... Uh, it does recharge, but it takes quite a while. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, I'll take the shotgun. Oh, wow. Very easy slowdown, man. All classes. I like all classes. Oh, it did get a skyline. It's a sport car. Okay. <laughs> no, whoops. Okay, let's upgrade the skyline. I think we got the concept Camaro. And we're gonna need that one to beat another event that unlocks another car. I'm sure I need to upgrade that car for any other event. Okay, sometimes that line that the game gives you is kind of horrible. Hey, we got the Zondorf though. I think it's our first supercar. You gotta be super careful not to get stuck in the opponents like this. RIP! <laughs> Fucking physics, man. Okay, I'm coming back when I have some money for upgrades. F. <laughs> That's the problem with that line feature. Sometimes it just puts you into the wall. I like these events, man. <laughs> 30 seconds and you're done. Maybe a bit more. There's a bunch of tracks in this game that were not in the original Pro Street. Honestly, I would prefer this game not having this gravity line feature and instead just giving every car better handling. <laughs> that would have been so much better. Like nearly a hundred people from our community bought Hot Wheels and Instant Gaming. And now they're out of code. Fucking racing line. Now we can buy the Mercy Lago. I'm not even sure we need to buy any cars so if we just can upgrade the car that we have. Yes, it was molecular uh, biology. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to spell it. Ouch! Okay, we got the 911. How do they drive so bad? Dude, how is the speed trap in a fucking corner? The most suicidal driver wins. <laughs> Man, I said the grippy cars are, as always, the most fun ones. Yeah, I think it's time to upgrade to Pagani. And that's it, we're broke. <laughs> it's so funny, like... Uh, you always have that kind... Really? It would be interesting to see, though, if PlayStation puts Gran Turismo on the PC. Ah, shit. There goes my extra cash. Okay, what's the best one? I get the illusion of being able to pick something, because that's the only car that's available. Do, do, do. There's our race version. Let's check it out. I don't know which events have drafting and which don't. It's really weird. I don't want to see a burnout until I've seen a good Need for Speed. <laughs> we have to develop another Need for Speed. Most Wanted 2012. I think I'm gonna, gonna have to launch an aerial assault on the headquarters of EA. I said that we don't have a speed break in this game that would help us ignore the brakes. So I am seriously considering dropping every handheld or at least most handhelds from next year's marathon. Okay, let's go to the next location. My Zondaf. I should have, I should have the race version of it. Yeah, yeah, you, you're gonna start to unlock the race versions now. <laughs> That's really the main issue with this game. The high-end cars just really suck. <laughs> I'm gonna be level 10 too soon. Okay, GG. Funnily enough, the muscle car handles better than the Lamborghini. Is that the last location? I gotta say, I'm getting a lot easier through the game than the last time I played it. Oh god, I have to use the Lambo again. Okay, this is where the game becomes bullshit. Because your opponents start to get really overpowered. And it's super easy for you to just crash out. Evo! Should be good. 
What the physics, man? Three laps? Oh man, my car is gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, this is easily one of the worst race layouts. Even knocked out. <laughs> bye bye. I guess I need a new YouTube editor now. I kinda wanna see how good the car is without the ability. Whee! Holy fucking rubber band! How? The game's difficulty is all over the place. Like, you can see how much extra time we have here. It's kind of crazy. Hey, we dominated the series. We unlocked all race cars. Now we can now we can go for 100%. Ooh, there's the bonus car. The R35. See, that one is actually supposed to be the best car. Look at the handling and braking stats. Yeah, that's why I hate this car. It's so wide and so easy to break it. I say the, the game does get some decent speed towards the end. I don't have the Z06. Unlocked in Tokyo Highway. Oh yeah, the blur effects are pretty bad in this game. Dude, my opponents are so far behind. They don't stand a chance against this thing. Forza Motorsport 7 or GT Sport? GT Sport by a long shot. By a long shot. Motorsport 7 is really boring. Motorsport 7 really failed to entertain me. Okay, don't have that car, don't have that car. This entire race makes no sense, what the fuck is going on with my car? I gotta say, this Honda is really, really bad for tight tracks. But to be honest, every car is bad in this game in tight tracks because you have like barely any grip. Just gonna inch ourselves to victory here because the car is really hard to control. But yeah, this is easily one of the Need for Speeds with the most awkward handling. Rivaling, rivaling games like Need for Speed 2015. Not as bad, but it, get, it gets somewhat close. Okay, I can't do the upper one. Probably can do this one. Okay, I do have the car. Can you not? Stop! Oh my god, stop pushing me around. <laughs> I fucking hate this game, dude. They drive so stupid here. Okay, win the lead. I'll take this. Hey, Hanuk, thank you. Fuck, the, the layout is so different to the PC version. No, oh, already maxed out. Is that the track on the reverse? It is. You probably recognize this track from PC version though. Don't have the car. Dude, where are we supposed to unlock all of these cars? Because I've done pretty much all the events already. Super creepy car. Found the draft. Oh, I think you have to buy the cars. You have to buy a Corvette set of six. Okay. That's how. It's not a muscle car. Why is the Corvette not a muscle car? Are you stupid ass game, man? No! Fuck. <laughs> See, that's an event type where you can draft. You can draft in speed trap events, for example. I don't really want to spend any money on upgrading this car. At least we just have two laps. That I can work with. Okay, that's 100%. Career stats. Let's show it off. Game complete, 100%. GG! Let's go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So yeah, stay tight. Definitely do come back tomorrow for more. And good night.